Last week, I was talking about the lack of testing on, on coronavirus and how that was a, a call to action. And an hour after I posted that video, a good friend of mine, Wolf de Brower, who's like a super visionary, wrote me and said, you know, yes, we need to make this happen. Let's work together and, and figure out how to, how to move the needle on, on the coronavirus, on COVID-19, on testing, on awareness, all this sort of stuff. So I, I called up uh, Ari Gentry, who is, we've been working together on, on negative, but we've also been working together for the last 10 years on just projects that matter, things that, things that make a difference. We're both co-founders of BioCurious, which was the world's first biohacker space uh, in, in the world. And now we're, now we're working on, uh, on negative, and now we're working on this COVID-19 response team. You know, our, our ethos is we work on projects that matter. We work on things that, that are meaningful to us. It's kind of a kind of a commitment, and so working with Ari and Walter on this uh, on this response has been really inspiring. What we're trying to do is to is to is to make testing more democratized, make it something that um, potentially people can do at home, or at least scale up what the what labs are doing. Uh, we want to be able to to scale the scale the response and the communication to enable everybody to see this for what it is. This is the moment of our generation. This is the moment when you're, we're going to look back a year from now, two years from now, maybe even 10 years from now and say, what were you doing? What were you doing during that, during that outbreak? And, and a lot of people are going to, going to see this as you know, a way to, to contribute because we need a lot of people. If you're, a, if you're an artificial intelligence engineer, if you're a bioinformatician, if you're a software engineer, if you're working in communications and design, if you're an artist, we need algorithms and, and models to better understand data. We need better communication to, to better connect to who's hearing this stuff. What are they, what are they seeing? What's the sentiment of, the, of, a, of, a, of people on a, on a city level, on a, on a country level? So leaning into all this, uh, our team launched, a, um, we, did a, we did a virtual hackathon last night. Uh, and a whole bunch of people showed up. Those are bioinformaticians. We had somebody connected to the CDC. We had somebody else, uh, you know, people who are biohackers and, and uh, programmers. So there are tons of opportunities. There's what we need are more people that, uh, that, that want to be a part of the part of the solution. If you want to join in, um, here's a couple resources that that can steer you towards where to, where to join. So we've launched a Slack group. It's called COVID-19 Hackathon. Uh, this is basically just people that are that are you know close to us in our network, people that are interested in in contributing to this. Uh, I'll have a link down below that you can use to to sign up. Uh, also, there's a there's this incredible group called uh, Just One Giant Lab. It's a huge group of biohackers that's specifically focused on the molecular diagnostics pieces of this. So there's a link below to check that out. Uh, and again, if you're a if you're a bioengineer, if you're a mechanical designer, mechanical engineer, if you're a an artist or a designer, you know, this is definitely all hands on deck. There's lots of lots of opportunities for, for people to contribute. So share this, uh, share this video with your network. If you know people that uh, you think want to contribute or want to be a part of, of building the solutions to this uh, COVID-19 outbreak, uh, we need, you know, we need as many people as possible. We need, we need all hands on deck. And there's, there's tons of room for, for better, better engineering, better science, better communication. So I look forward to hearing from you, and uh, and I'll, I'll I'll tell you what comes up in the next week.